Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. A while back during a live show, I was asked what price I'd put on a home-cooked meal. Well, ever since, I've been thinking about how much it really costs per meal to cook and eat at home. Now, you all know I don't spend a lot on food and that I shop carefully and I buy in bulk when things are on sale because remember, bulk just means more. It does not necessarily mean cheaper. And I fill my pantry with mostly generic brands because they are cheaper. Now, our grocery budget's low and because I shop once a year, over the course of a year, I add it to the grocery account so that it is ready for me to do the yearly shopping. Now, I've been keeping track and for the last seven days, all our meals and all our snacks have been made at home and they've been made using ingredients that were already in the pantry. Why? Well, remember, ingredients give you options. Now, that's 105 meals that we didn't buy, plus at least 70 serves of snacks and desserts. So things like biscuits or cake or pita chips and dip or, or scones. Now remember, for the most part, there are five of us and, you know, four of us at the moment are working at home. So it puts quite a stretch on the grocery budget if you're not careful. Now, I've been doing some digging around and I've seen breakfast for $6.90 and that was pancakes with berries and syrup. Um, lunches, we all know, if you're going to buy lunch, it could be anything from $10 to $20, probably a bit more each. As for dinners, well, you know, even pizza and garlic bread for five can be $25 plus. Now, I've done a very generous average costing of around $11.50 a day for meals. And that was allowing $3 for breakfast, $3 for lunches and $5.50 for our dinners. And I am saying that we did not spend $1,200 on meals this week. We just didn't. I think my actual cost for last week, for the last seven days, was just on $78. It was a little bit more, but I did splurge and buy a lamb roast. <laughs> so that's a huge amount of money that we didn't spend on food. If you've ever wondered if eating out really costs as much as I sat does, do the sums yourself. Cooking at home using ingredients will not only give you options, but keep a lot of money in your bank account. And that's something we all want and need to do. Before I go, thank you so much for watching and putting up with my scratchy throat. I'm still recovering a bit from that head cold, hay fever, allergy, whatever it was. Please remember to like, subscribe and share. These three things really boost our channel and make it easier to find. And of course, when we are easier to find, it is easier to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, but entirely and absolutely possible to do so, even in today's crazy world. Until next time, happy cheapskating, everyone.